Greetings, 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 brothers and sisters all over the world, men and women. Welcome to another episode of Positive Lifestyle Management Awareness Session. My name is V. Taylor, and this morning I'm coming to you sitting in the forest where it's quiet and serene. There's nothing going on around me. And uh, I want to address an issue. And the issue that I would like to address is I've had several people ask me about how I feel about the R. Kelly verdict. Now, let me say this here. I'm not an advocate of prison, period, you know, when it comes to locking people up, man, because I've been in that system and I know how that system treats a person. But I am also a big advocate of women and young men and young girls. So I don't know if this brother is uh guilty i don't know if he he did what they said he did but i know that there was 50 witnesses called at his trial in new york and 45 of those witnesses that was called got up on the stand and, and was witnesses against him and these are allegations that has been going back against this man for decades these allegations has not just started these ain't no new allegations these allegations that has been continuously going on throughout his music career, even from the time when he married a 15-year-old young young woman, Aaliyah, all the way up until today. So, and also with the young lady that he was supposed to urinate all on, I think she was 14 or something like this. So, I'm not. I know he was found not guilty of those charges then, you know. So. I'm not saying that this brother is guilty. I'm not saying that he did what he, what people are saying he's supposed to have done. But what I am saying is this here, that we as men cannot allow ourselves to be placed in situation of that nature, you know. And we also have to look at this, at, at the bigger picture, this here, that he's been, uh, he's been abused himself. So hurt people's hurt, abused people's abused. So we have to be mindful of that. So, um, what I can I can say at this here, once he go into the federal system, you know what I'm saying that's gonna be uh, a whole nother another experience for him. But from what I understand, he's only looking at a mandatory minimum of I ain't gonna say only a mandatory minimum of ten years, but a mandatory minimum of ten years. And so, which means he's been locked up over two years already. So R. Kelly is looking to get probably maybe 10, 12 years. I don't see him receiving a life sentence because his his criminal background don't reflect that. I don't think he has no criminal history points or none of that. And when you go into the federal system, everything in the federal system is based on your point levels and you got to go down and across. It's this grid that they put you on. And I don't think that he he fits the level of being a career offender. You know what I'm saying? And I don't see that he uh, his points level is going to be that high so i don't see r kelly getting those 60 70 80 years like everybody is claiming that he's going to get but who am i to say this here and they might have the prosecutors may have more evidence on them than what they're saying than, than what than what i'm uh, going off of. i'm only going off the the system because i was in the system and i know most time when people are looking at a mandatory minimum of, of particular charges if they're not a career offender or armed career criminal or have 40 20 30 points a lot of points they they sentence normally don't get no more than what they mandatory minimum mean regardless if they went to trial or not so uh we'll see you know i wish them the, the best of luck you know, he got this is a this is a part of that journey now that he has to uh deal with. He got to go in that system and he got to deal with it. Is it gonna be easy for him? No. Nah. More likely by him being a high profile celebrity, they might throw him in one of them institutions like Inglewood or uh Tucson, maybe Terre Haute, Buckner One or Buckner Low. He probably wind up in a low security facility somewhere where it's though uh child molesters aka chomos are able to to walk the compounds you know what i'm saying so i don't see him going to no usps because he's not going to be able to make it in no usp so he probably go to a medium security prison somewhere or a um a low security prison where he'll be okay you know what i'm saying so with that being said i want to thank you all for another session of uh, 
positive lifestyle management uh, awareness session. And you all have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Peace.